halfway across the world, there is a creature that has not forgotten the meaning of family. Here on the plains of Kenya, early morning has brought with it a momentous occasion. After nearly two years in her mother's womb, a calf has been born. With her first tentative steps, she is welcomed into the herd. These bonds will last a lifetime. To be a, a baby elephant must be wonderful. Surrounded by her loving family, 24 hours a day, touched by the family, cuddled, comforted, the tremendous love and compassion exuded by every family member. I think it must be how it ought to be in a perfect world. Perhaps more than any other person, Daphne Sheldrick has a special understanding of baby elephants. For 50 years, she's been surrogate mother to dozens of orphans. She's raised most of them here at her home in Nairobi, alongside her human family. Who's here? Hmm? Like a puccini, um, yeah. Her encounters with elephants have taught her lasting lessons in compassion. The most recent arrival is three-week-old Ilinguesi. If she's to survive, the nurturing she would have gotten from her wild family will have to be replaced. And if you've had your own children as I have, and now have grandchildren, it's not difficult to see they're very family-minded animals. These little elephants are a bit deprived, but they have a human family in place of the elephant one. But it's not quite the same thing. Daphne learned this lesson the hard way, 25 years ago. When I had my first baby, Aisha, um, I didn't have any keepers, there was just me. And I fed her every four hours, like you would a human baby, and put it in her little stable at 10 o'clock at night with uh, one of my dresses hanging in her stable. But that actually wasn't enough. She got to six months, but when I left her for four days because my daughter was getting married, she simply died of a broken heart. Then I learned that they must have a family. Elephants mature at much the same rate as humans. Their lives can span 80 years. Like Daphne's grandson, these infants will be dependent upon their human family for many years to come. Their keepers are the key to their survival. Meshach's a hot favorite with all our elephants. He's our most experienced keeper. And uh, these other men are trainees, you know, they get, they're get being taught. No pushing, no pushing. She's tried to push him out of the way so that the others don't get there. When you want to see whether a baby elephant's in good condition, you always look at the face. You should not see this bone, you see. This little one is a little bit, uh, tiny bit on the lean side still. The, the, the cheekbone is just visible here. But they're all putting on condition. You can see this, she's getting fat cheeks too, aren't you? Hmm? The elephants must be very fond of their family and the, the family must be fond of the elephants. And you, you can tell who's a good keeper and who's not just by the reaction of the elephants. They can read your heart. To look at these infants now, one would never guess the trauma they've so recently been through. This little one was only six weeks old when her mother was shot in southern Kenya. Like the others, she's made a remarkable recovery. The keepers are with the orphans around the clock, even through the night. It is ironic that even an infant like Ilinguesi 
can teach lessons in resiliency. Elephants have certainly taught me how to put the bad things behind, turn the page and get on with living. Understanding the traumas that uh, elephants have to put up with and how they cope with it has, uh, I think, made me a stronger person as well. If elephants dream, might this one be dreaming of the family she once had? Can she know that if she survives, someday she'll have a family in the wild once again? Only 200 miles away from Daphne's orphanage lies Savo National Park. It is here that Ilinguesi's future family awaits her. In a small section of the park sits a compound, phase two of Daphne's orphanage. Here lives a herd of six orphaned elephants, all of whom arrived on Daphne's doorstep years ago as infants. At Savo, they're learning how to be wild elephants. Each day they leave the safety of their compound and follow their keepers into the park. Here they mingle with the wild herds, learning the language of elephants. Their self-appointed matriarch is 10-year-old Malaika. She keeps a close watch over her little family. Back at the compound, the keepers are concerned about their youngest charge. She was orphaned two weeks ago and is still dependent on milk. She's too young to join the others in the bush, and her health is poor. Daphne has flown from Nairobi to bring medicine and see what she can do. Despite the efforts of the keepers, the baby is listless and reluctant to eat. She's in shock and grief and a little bit sick. Which is not too bad. You didn't make it, don't you? Daphne knows it will take more than the keepers and food to pull the little one through. She desperately needs the company of other elephants. Malaika, come on. Malaika, quarter, 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 quarter. The next morning, Malaika is asked to leave two members of the herd behind. The youngest females are held back to provide companionship for the little one. Malaika is very agitated at having her family split. That's an unnatural thing to do. But she loves and trusts the keepers. And having been an orphan herself, she understands that that little calf is not very well. The older orphans instantly comfort and reassure the newcomer. The change is almost immediate. Just because she's with these other elephants, uh, she's trying to eat much more. There's been a big difference. She's making much more of an effort today than she has previously. So, so the will to live is, is kicking in, which is really great. There's a tremendous lot we humans can learn from elephants. An elephant's relationship with its family continues beyond death. They will visit the bones of a loved one for years afterwards, come to that place, remember. Sometimes will come and take a piece of a, a body 
to carry off with them and always remember uh, with tremendous love a family member. Really in a perfect world, that's how we all ought to be.